Hey everyone, welcome to this Unity 3D tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to go over something extremely basic. Um, I'm just going to cover how to switch between walking and running. So uh, this tutorial kind of assumes that you already have a character set up. Uh, you know, it can walk around your scene. Uh, this is my character right here. Right now, she just walks around. Uh, she doesn't switch between the working or walking animations. Uh, I'm not going to go through how to uh, program the animations. Uh, I'm just going to go through the speed changes. So I'm just going to assume that you have some kind of script that uh, controls your movement by some kind of move variable. In my case, I have this basic movement script. Uh, so I'll open it right here and I'll go ahead and get started. So um, the, the idea would apply to any any kind of script. It's, it's not like you have to copy my entire script. But right now I just have this move speed variable. Whenever I uh, press uh, W or S, I'll use my transform dot four times move speed and it'll return a value and that's how uh, that's how much I'll move so let's go ahead and get started so uh, first thing I want to do is I want to create variables for a walk speed and a run speed so um, after my move speed I'll go and say public float walk speed and I want my walk speed and move speed to be uh, the same value initially because we're going to start out walking. And I'll come up with one for my run speed. So I'll say public float float run speed is equal to 8.0f. And I'm doing this in C sharp, so I'm using float, so you may you gotta make sure you have that F there. So I also need to create a Boolean value because I want to be able to switch. So I'll say private bool walking is equal to true. We set it to true because we're going to be walking initially. So the next thing I need to do is alter this function right here, or you, you can create your function, you can put inside update, it doesn't really matter. I will put mine right, right after this. The way I'm going to control my running and walking toggling is by using the left shift key. So if I'm walking and I press the left shift key, I'll switch to running. If I'm running and I press the left shift key, I'll switch to walking. So it's, it's extremely simple. We're going to use that Boolean variable. So inside this function right here, um, like I said, it'll work with any kind of script you have as long as you have like a move speed variable. Um, you would write something like this. So I'm going to put in if input dot get key down, and I'm going to use uh, key code dot left shift. And in here is where um, you know, all the magic happens, I guess you could say. Uh, if walking else. So inside, if I end up getting to this if statement, that means I'm walking, and it means I'm going to switch to running. If I get down here, it means I'm running, and I'm going to switch to walking. So inside here, if I'm walking, I'll say my move speed is equal to run speed. And I'll say walking is equal to false. And so my move speed will change to run speed. And whenever I perform this transform.translate line in my key move function, uh, I'll be running instead of walking because my move speed variable has changed. So we need to do this, do the same thing inside the else, else part. So we'll say move speed is equal to walk speed. Walking is equal to true. And so this is really uh, all you really need. So if I go back to Unity. play it. I'll start walking and I'll press the shift key and it'll go faster but I have my animation set up inside this basic movement uh, script so I'm just going to uh, uncomment this stuff out and then you'll be able to see the, uh, the results better. But it's just a matter of using that uh, this boolean section right here uh, whenever you press the left shift key. Okay, so I'll save that. I'll go back to Unity. Press play. She's idling. I'll turn. So right now I'm walking. As soon as I press left shift, she'll start running. So she'll speed up, and at the same time, she'll perform the run animation. So you can see 
it's working so I'll press left shift I'll switch back to run it uh, walking so if I press left shift again I'll switch to running so like I said very simple it's just a matter of using this uh, this section right here so uh, that's how to switch between running and walking inside Unity 3D